Okay, well, welcome back to the journey of success and prosperity as an entrepreneur. Here we are together and um, let's see, for sure we realized last, on last video that change is required, right? Change, really. We need, to, we need to be super open, super willing to realize that we keep being the way we are until today. We are going to have the same results. We are going to engage life the same way. So it's very important to be always, all our journey here, very conscious that we are changing. We need to change and we are going to make friends with that change. And the first change that I want to offer you here <coughs> to become aware of and to really work it out is to change what I call from engaging, thinking that the source of your happiness, your success, your results, your situation, your experience is outside you to realize and discover that the source of your experience, happiness, unhappiness, uh, fulfillment, success, failures, whatever, the source really of your life is inside you. And this is very easy to say. I work on this for so many years. Arne and I, both of us, we really work on this for our entire life pretty much. And, uh, and, and, and I want to give you the simplicity of so many years of work. But to give you an example, for example, first you will have to check uh, your your addiction, your habit to to engage with life from thinking that source is outside. And you notice that when you blame, you know, when uh, something happened in your life and the fault is outside, when you um, complain and, and spend your time thinking how bad is blah 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 blah, always outside, you know, trying. <laughs> You can also become aware of that when you really try to change other people so then you can feel better or to change your uh, situation or to change, uh, I don't know, the government or, or, you know, whatever it is like because it's their fault, you know. So this is the, 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 if you want the, 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 the way that you're going to check if you really uh, think and you have this belief system internalized that the source is outside. That's the way that we express it by blaming complaining, you know, kind of being negative about it. Uh, now, how do we change that? Well, first I want you to become aware. That's what I'm talking about. The first step is to become aware. Become aware that there, there is these two possibilities outside. Source is outside or source is inside. When it's outside, it works that way. We blame, we complain, we spend our time really pointing out and complaining instead of changing what needs to be changed inside. So I want to give you an example, concrete, two examples I'm going to give you. One could be, let's say that today in your life you don't have enough money. Okay, so that's apparently the reality for you, right? So what do we do? Well, if you are the source of your life that you are, the creator of your life that you are, then we can own and we can realize that, wow, this is a thought, this is an idea that I am thinking. Because if I was not thinking that, I will not be creating that. So if I, if I create in my life that there is not enough money for me here, okay, I can undo that. That's the beauty of our work here, our awakening as our entrepreneurs, you know. I can undo that and create something else. And to do that, I will have first to be aware, like I said before. Second, I will have to be willing, super willing to let go, to, to be wrong in quote, you know, like, yes, even though I see it in my life, okay, I know that this is not the truth, capital letters. I know that this is uh, old consciousness, let's call it my own ignorance about not knowing who I truly am in essence. So I bought the, the, the old consciousness of being, you know, separated, not enough. And I, and I believe it and I acted out for many, many, many years, uh, even many, many lives if you believe in, in past lives, you know. So, but it's simple, you delete it. You, you can, you become aware of that thinking. So then you need to be willing to let it go. So how willing are you to let go this thinking when it's so real and so present in your life? How do we do that? Well, by doing it, okay? You start to really don't fight 
who don't have enough uh, money today, don't judge it, don't reject it, don't do anything about it. Just take it in your heart. You become aware of that old thinking. I want you to learn how to send it back to source, how to let it go. Okay, so then you have the space to bring into your consciousness the true consciousness, capital letters, the true you, your true nature, your true self that is abundance by nature with no effort. That is who you truly are from the inside out. So you become aware. Second, you give the space to be willing to let that go. You, you need to, is an action, is a, is a choice that you make here, okay? And third, you invest, invest your attention, your time, your dedication to start to think the way that you want to think right now as a successful entrepreneur that is in alignment with your true nature. And abundance, abundance, abundance is your true nature, is your birthright, is who you truly are at the core. So we are here to take out the layers that really cover up this magnificent being that we are and it's, it's, you know, it's powerful to become aware of our limitations and then very powerful, even more powerful to learn how to let that go. So I just want to remember, to remind you that we are here to support you, that if you need private coaching, if you feel that you feel lost or whatever, get in contact with us. We can really work this out together for you to manifest your prosperity and abundance as an entrepreneur. Another example that I wanted to give you is, let's say that you perceive yourself or outside you greediness. You know, I heard that judgment a lot that, you know, like, oh, you know, but people that have money, they are greedy or whatever. Okay, let's explore what greedy, you know, greediness really is inside. And again, it comes from this old consciousness where not enough, separation. So from that fear of not enough, I want to keep, you know, I want to get, I want to take it in. And that's the way that the old consciousness was working. So what do we do about that? One, we become aware. Two, we create the space that I can let that go, that greeniness in me, even if you see it outside, is a, a projection of yourself. So you can see it outside and don't bring any attention to it, don't judge it, don't reject it, don't want it even to change it. Just be willing internally to let go that understanding, to really embrace your own fear of not having enough, of your own belief system of that there is not enough, willing to let that go and then you start to ponder and to think and to learn okay to to really ingrain into your dna that there is more than enough for everything so i mean that's our source so i just wrote here like two beautiful questions uh about uh, getting familiar with more than enough okay and um, you can start by recognizing that you are open to have more than enough Okay, maybe until now I didn't know that I can choose that, but right now I know I can choose my thinking, I can choose my creation, and I am open to know that there is more than enough for me, more money than enough for me, whatever you want to frame it. And using creative question that is really a way of tapping into your creative power, I would like you to ponder and to play with the creative question that says, why can I have a surplus of money? Why can I have a surplus of money? Seriously, I mean, really. Imagine that you are questioning that in your depth, 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 connected with God, Goddess, with the Spirit, with the universe, and you ask, you ask to that silence, to that eternal source inside you, you know, like, why? Why can I have surplus of money? Hmm. And for me, the first sensation that appears here is like, well, because I relax and I allow my being to shine. Okay, well, I take it in, I feel it, I let it go, the response, and I ask again, why? Why can I have a surplus of money? You need to get familiar with this concept, and creative questions are incredible for you to really start to master your creative power. A very powerful creative question that is going to help you to embody this frequency of abundance and surplus of money is to ask yourself, how do I feel when I have a surplus of money? Hmm. How do I feel when I have a surplus of money? 
And even if you physically don't have it today, get familiar with this imagination, you know, in your own imagination. How do I feel if I have this surplus of money? And you say, wow, that feels good. That feels great. Hmm, that feels really good. And you start to embody this frequency, this frequency of abundance. You are the one that needs and can get familiar with this frequency. So this is something that I really want to support you. And we have in our website, unlimitednetwork.com, you go to the resources uh, page and you have a 40-day program, abundance program that I personally love. I did like three times already. That is made, uh, it's called 40 Days Abundance Program by John Randolph, Randolph Price. And it's a program that you do in the morning, that you do in the night, every day for 40 days. Commit yourself to something to change your consciousness, to change your way of thinking. It's not a one minute thinking. It's a very perseverant, constant process. And here's where we show up for you to do this together. You are not alone in this. Okay? Great. Now, before we leave, you have this uh, pondering, you know, like, why can I uh, have surplus of money? How do I feel when I have a surplus of money? Really, the key of this uh, little video, this uh, big tip, let's say, is to realize that you can switch from source outside and being the victim of your world to source inside and be the creator of your life. And this is a very powerful work that we can do together again. So before I let you go, I'm going to give you another tip that is fun, like I promised it to in the last weekend, in the last uh, video, excuse me, and, uh, and that is going this way. I would like you to erase completely from your dictionary, from your labeling, from your thinking, the word spend. I would like you to start to use the word circulate. So talking about money, I will let you to feel the difference. How does it feel for you if I tell you today I spend, um, let's say, half thousand dollars and today I spend six hundred dollars? How does it feel in your energetic field? How do you, what do you sense? You know, I spend six hundred dollars. Wow. Okay. Feels to me like I lost six hundred dollars. I I don't have any more than six hundred dollars. I spend it. They are gone, right? I want you to erase that word spend and I want you to switch it for, to replace it for, I circulated. The, the energy of circulation. So if I tell you, today I circulated six hundred dollars. How does it feel? You know, I have the same one thousand dollars, but I circulated six hundred dollars. I circulated, I moved around. I connect with the flow of no ending, abundance and prosperity that we are. So when I circulate, I put it out and it's going to come back, out and in, it's moving, it's circulating, you are not losing anything, you are almost investing really. So I want you to practice this little playful tip, <coughs> check how many times, the first time that I heard about this. <coughs> I have to say that the next week I catch myself saying spending constantly. <laughs> so I need to rewind, say, oops, sorry, I circulated, you know, I went to the supermarket and I spent $80. No, I went to the supermarket and I circulated $80. Or I went, I put gas in my car and I circulated $64. Whatever it is, but switch the word of spending with circulation and observe what happens to you. So that's a little tip to build our abundance and prosperity from the inside out. I hope you enjoyed this series of videos and I'm going to uh, let you go until our next video that you will have another powerful tip talking about your success tolerance. And uh, no, before that we are going to talk about how to really change our mental paradigm. So stay attentive. See you later. Thank you.